met R. Kelly when I was 14. When I met him, I was 17 years I old. I wanted to be a singer. I wanted to be a dancer. We thought we were going to be stars. A new docu-series on Lifetime details shocking allegations that R&B singer R. Kelly physically and sexually abused women and teenagers. Each of the six episodes starts off saying the artist denies all claims relating to sexual assault, domestic violence, and sexual misconduct with minors. These are some of the most disturbing claims made in the show. I was molested when I was seven, on to maybe 13, 14, something like that, uh, by people in my family. R. Kelly, whose real name is Robert Kelly, claims to have been sexually abused as a child. One of his brothers claims to have been the victim of abuse also at the hands of a family member. Right now, I'm producing a very talented young lady, Aaliyah. The show says R. Kelly met up-and-coming artist Aaliyah Houghton when she was 12. One of his former backup singers claims she witnessed R. Kelly having sex with Aaliyah on a tour bus when she was still a minor. When the door flew open on the bus. What did you see? Things that an adult should not be doing with a child. Robert was having sex with Aaliyah. Kelly's former tour manager says Kelly married Aaliyah because he thought she was pregnant with his child. But the young star wasn't old enough to legally consent to marriage. She was 15 and he was 27. I'm not proud of that. I had papers forged for them. I was in the room when they got married. It was just a quick little ceremony. Nothing elaborate. She didn't have on a white dress. Robert didn't have on a tux. Just everyday wear. And Robert said, I do. <laughs> he said, I do, him and Aaliyah. The marriage was annulled after two months. Aaliyah's mom, Diane Houghton, vehemently denies that Kelly had a sexual relationship with Aaliyah while she was underage. Aaliyah died in a plane crash in 2001. R. Kelly married Andrea Lee in 1996. She also spoke out in the series claiming their 13-year marriage was marred by abuse and what she describes as controlling behavior. You're trying to figure out, how do I get him back to the good space? Okay, I'll take responsibility for it. I'll just say it's my fault. I, I'll say yes to whatever it is. I'll apologize, because if I can just get him back to the good guy, the one that I fell in love with, then I'm in a good space. The couple had three children together. Parents also came forward in the series to claim they haven't seen their daughters in years because R. Kelly is controlling them in what they call a sex cult. Joycelyn Savage's parents claim she's being held against her will by Kelly, even though she denied it in a video obtained by TMZ last year. The parents of Joycelyn Savage previously spoke to Megyn Kelly about their concern for their daughter, who they haven't spoke to since 2016. Gradually saw things take over, you know, take over her phone, take over her calling home. We are a very close niche family, not just with me and John and her grandparents, her uncles, all that. We're very close. So she wasn't uh, allowed to come to the, uh, her granddad's funeral. Robert treated me very well. Charismatic, funny, extremely caring. He's hard not to like. It was very romantic to me. And throughout the series, a number of women claim to have initially gotten together with a kind man, only to discover what they describe as a darker side to R. Kelly. He would break you down. He would turn around and say, I'm the only one that loves you. I'm the only one who cares about you. Since the series aired, authorities in Georgia have opened a criminal investigation into R. Kelly. It's very painful to have to talk about it again. And are reportedly reaching out to the women who recounted their painful stories. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Mara Montalbano.